Hi guys, welcome to DIY Roti Bread with Twist. Today I'm going to share with you my staple diet, my very own personal favorite, tasty yummy roti paratha bread. And I love this because this is with a twist. This is not an ordinary looking roti, but it has so many nutritious value, health value, which fits so well with my holistic lifestyle. Welcome you all to Happiness with Hema. So these are the ingredients gonna be there in the recipe. And you can see this flour. This is not a wheat flour, ordinary wheat flour. So what it is, to show you that, I'm going to take you straight away to the supermarket. And we are here in a grocery store. Hi guys, I'm Hema and I live in Singapore and totally believe in holistic living. So today I'm going to share with you that what all I put in my bread, which I call it roti paratha. Well friends, at my home, the roti is not made of a normal white wheat flour. So what it made of, I'm gonna share with you. This is Rajgiri Atta. The highlight of Rajgiri is that it is gluten-free, helps to boost your metabolism while not adding to your overweight. And this one is rice flour. Other than that, it makes your chapati, your roti crispy. It is gluten-free, excellent source of fiber and easy to digest. And the next one is Singhadeka Atta, also known as water chestnut flour. is rich in B vitamin and potassium and also contain antioxidants. Good food for diabetics and can be included in a weight loss diet. And the next one is my all-time favorite, Ragi Atta. The common English name of Ragi is finger millet. Its rich source of fiber helps lower cholesterol level and Ragi is best food for weight control, diabetics and cooling the body. It is a fabulous health food, helps to stay calm and cool in summers best for the Singapore weather. And now the next coming up is Bajra flour, also known as pearl millet. It is rich in protein and essential minerals. Bajra is healthy gluten-free alternative to wheat. Bajra is an excellent source of fiber which not only helps in weight loss but also prevent weight gain. And the next one is Makki ka atta from my region where I belong from India. Himachal, it's made of corn, is good source of vitamin A, C, K and is amazing for your skin, hair, heart, brain and digestion. So friends, what I do is I buy half and half kg of each and then I bring it home and I mix it all together and I custom made it for my family. You can do the same while preparing the dough, you can just take handful of every grain and mix it with your normal ordinary wheat flour. I think people are using this kind of uh, atta with a multi-grain atta, whole wheat multi-grain atta, but I make it myself for my family. And now let's move to the next part that is veggies. So this green thing you must be thinking is a coriander leaves. No, no, no. This is not just a coriander. So I'm going to share the secret of this green veggies and the chilies with you. For that again, let's move to the supermarket again. Green chilies have been found to help prevent lifestyle diseases, including some cancer and stomach ulcer and type 2 diabetes. So for my parantas, chilies are must. And you will always find a chili chutney at my house. In terms of vitamin C, green chilies, they beat oranges. They are also stuffed with vitamin A, B and E. So I definitely advocate you to start using chili at home. It has so many uses. Yes, for the kids, avoid the smaller ones and prefer longer ones. They are not very spicy, They are, but they still have the nutrition value.
okay let's go ahead look at the vegetable i don't know something happened to me i feel very very energized when i'm watching all the greens so here are the greens the secret of the greens are here so in the supermarket whatever greens i see i love to bring them to my kitchen like see this one this is moringa leaves this is called drumstick leaves which are too good for health and this one is like look like a spinach but actually so many uh, greens i don't even know their names but i use every greens at my home especially for this paratha so i try to use every time different different kind and i mix in paratha and trust me it tastes like a heaven every greens have their own uh, some special quality so i advocate not just simple one or two veggies but explore all the veggies in the market so this one is methi methi is like very common methi leaves are very common it tastes it gives a nice fragrance and this one is spinach that is also very commonly used so try using all the kind of this greens in your parathas and this one is coriander leaf coriander a bunch of coriander always goes in my paratha other than all the health benefits all these greens taste heaven so just take two or three combinations of any green chop it into small pieces and put it in your paratha and the kids will not even realize they will eat it because when you cook the uh, raw vegetable in a tawa it roasts and it gives a very nice aroma well i hope you are convinced that you are going to use many veggies in your parathas now i'm buying a bunch of this onion which i only get it uh, this indian onions we get it in a this uh, indian superstore only and i love look at the vegetables so beautiful i love coming for the grocery shopping especially for the vegetables now we are back for diy my favorite roti paratha bread how to make it and the ingredients are any of your green favorite veggies chili onion and mixed flour and the another twist is that in this our roti when we are making a dough we are not preparing the dough with water but with already cooked dal lentils so the first thing is going to go inside is the veggies then goes the onion then goes my chilies and salt to taste then i also put bit of zira cumin seeds and now i put the already cooked lentils this brown one is actually i have uh, cooked specially but the yellow one was left over and now we are going to mix the flour very slowly slowly make sure that you are mixing it very slowly and gradually you are not at once putting all the dal and making it soggy so mix it well and if you need it then add more dal but no water remember we are not even using a drop of water in my cooked dal i normally put all the chili powder garam masala so you can mix according to your taste those things also So if while preparing the dough you feel that it's getting little sticky you can add a handful of flour again and go slowly slowly so that you know how much to put instead of just going at once and now mix it so well nicely actually preparing a dough is it's like a therapy i enjoy absolutely and now i always add a desi one spoon of a uh, uh, clear butter desi ghee so that the your dough is nice fresh and not dry from outside and now your dough is absolutely ready filled with dal vegetables onion and mixed greens and now keep it for just 10 to 15 minutes and now comes the turn of how to make here also the one twist i'll show you 
and that is my style of making a paratha because I never cook it in an oil so I put the oil like this and then I cover it up so this is called gupchup like secret so because this way the oil will not burn directly because it is inside and it ooze out and gives a very nice fragrance and a layer to the paratha and now cook this paratha in a very 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 slow heat so that it is nice crispy and delicious and now the paratha is absolutely ready mind it we haven't put any oil above it but you can always add it on top and now the roti the bread the paratha is all ready for serving so this is so complete food you don't actually have to eat with some vegetables or something else so all you need is pickle and homemade green coriander and chili chutney and one more twist i always add a little bit of paneer fresh cottage cheese because that when you crumble it and put it over the hot paratha when it melts down it tastes like a heaven so it will be little more heavier rich in protein so it's a complete 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 meal and now is a tasting time see just announcing itself my mouth is watering so much because i uh, this is my favorite dish and here you go so now is a tasting time do try at home and let me know how was it because whenever i put a bite in my mouth i'm in a different world altogether if you're new to this channel do subscribe like and share sharing is caring so don't forget to share it with your friends and family do write me in and let me know if you want to see more videos like this and follow me on instagram at hema dudwa till the time we meet again stay safe stay healthy and eat healthy as well